Hi everybody, I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights. This message is for our beautiful Virgos. Virgo, this is your life, well, no, 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 this is your love focus. <laughs> this is your mini extended love focus for the month of May 2020. And this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus and Virgo. Virgo, I'm super excited that you guys are tuning in. Please like and share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. You guys are amazing and I'm super grateful to have you as a subscriber. And I look forward to seeing you guys for the month of June and so forward, okay? Okay, so let's move on with this energy and let's see what's going on for you. Ooh, love. What a topic. <laughs> All right, so I already appreciate with this deck, so let's go. Okay. So it looks like finances is definitely at the focus for your love life this season. It looks like there's definitely something that you, some things that you guys will like focused on or overly obsessing over um, at this time. And this can be some things that you were dealing with with your spouse, having those long term conversations about your financial goals, your accomplishments, and saving, and um, basically just even talking about possibly retirement, putting money to the side and those type of things, okay? But money has definitely been like a major factor for a lot of you, okay? I've heard, see a lot of you also being a lot concerned more about your stability and overall wellness, okay? If there's something you're dealing with legally, it shows here that things are going to be worked out in your favor. There's going to be things that are going to be dealt with in a just and fair manner. Things that are coming to a complete end for you if there were any type of financial struggles, especially when it comes to love. So whatever the issues is that you guys have been fighting with with your spouse about or having some type of issues about and maybe you and your spouse wasn't really seeing eye to eye, you can definitely know and feel confident knowing that everything is already worked out. Okay, now May 7th or 8th, give or take a day, we will have a full moon in Scorpio. And as you may or may not know, that will bring about a lot of tension, things being revealed, exes appearing. Um, so I can understand there are some legalities involved, like maybe child support or some other type of legal issue. Okay, but like um, exes coming up to the surface, even if they're not actually physically there, this could just be something as that maybe you or your spouse is thinking of, reminiscing about, having long-term thoughts about, maybe wishing that maybe they would have dealt things differently. But this can also be like secrets being revealed as well, okay? Um, I know that Scorpios really do like to find out things and they like to search and find out the mystery of things. So there will be, again, things being revealed to us, whether we like it or not. And it doesn't necessarily have to exactly be about our, your finances. This can be about literally about love. Or this can be about something that maybe they held back, some type of regret, or maybe they are holding some type of resentment against you for something that maybe you have done, or maybe they felt like you did not do. Okay. Um, there's also um, a thought here about worrying about your past. Okay. Someone is deeply thinking about their past or loved ones that may have moved forward. Someone that may have recently passed away. A lot of you may have thoughts about people that just recently moved on and you're thinking about them and try not to obsess over it too much. It doesn't do your health any good. It doesn't do your body any good. And it definitely doesn't certainly do your marriage any good or your relationships or even your friendships when you over overly obsessed over really anything okay i understand especially if you lost someone i can understand how um hurtful that can how hurtful that must be okay um try to lean on your spouse if you can if you are single maybe you're like i don't have a spouse you know then this can just be simply just literally reaching out to people that just simply have love for you like your friends or your close friend um friendships or your family members that really adore you okay um some of you i feel like you're missing your ex some of you could be missing your ex in a sense um you know just keep in mind though virgo you know they are an ex for a reason okay so if you are <laughs> um thinking about your ex you know it's nothing wrong with reminiscing thinking about good times, and just remember that at once upon a time, they did something or got under your skin somehow. This is not something where it's like, oh, you know, whatever, I missed them, they were so amazing, you know, let's reach out to them, let's make love, let's meet up, like, this is not the time for that. The month of May is the May, the month of retrograde, so you want to be extremely careful 
um, with making really drastic decisions as far as like being with someone new or divorcing someone or simply taking someone back. Okay, um, or even socializing with people that are no good for your soul. You want to be very careful with that, okay? It's nothing wrong with saying, you know, I think that this is a brilliant time to focus on healing and forgiveness. But I think that that's, that's all that needs to happen. And that's not just for you. It's for every zodiac sign. We need to focus on healing and building our own self up more so than trying to reconnect with something that we needed to let go of. And that is what I admire about the full, the school, full moon in Scorpio is that it gives us that extra push to just be done. Like one thing I do know and love about Scorpios is that when they're done, they are done. When they really want to call something quits, they will call it quits. Okay. But once they are truly devoted and loyal to a purpose and to a person, they will stick it out. You know, and so this is a point in your life where you actually get a second chance or an opportunity to say if you really want to stick it through with something or if you really just want to simply call it quits. I don't recommend that you do it right this second, but it's definitely something to strategize about, to think about, to analyze about, to call a lawyer about, to talk about, okay? Um, again, it may not be, I don't feel like a separation, Virgo, though. I think it's just something that you and your spouse are dealing with. Or for a lot of you, this could be just simply you missing your ex or your ex missing you. Or this can have some type of, um, this financial situation could be something that maybe your ex owe you. So again, this could be something dealing with a lot of legalities like child support, um, spousal support. This could be um, something that will owe to you like some type of alimony or something. So just look out for that in the mail, you know, some type of letter or unexpected news. Um, when it comes to your love life, really, really take a look at that because I do see the fairness card here, okay? And it definitely do, it's like, it keeps jumping at me. So it lets me know that something is definitely working out in your favor. I don't know what this person did or what how much they owe you, but something is being set in stone. This could even be you taking someone to court, okay? Maybe you feel like you need to sue, <laughs> okay? This is not an actual legal situation. This this can just be simply about being fair and making just decisions and doing the right thing, okay? And when it's all said and done, this situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So it's basically nothing for you guys to worry about, okay? Again, what I love though is that, you know, again, it seemed like financially you guys are gonna be doing really well and I think that's gonna make you and your spouse really happy after you guys sit down and talk about your goals and your accomplishments and how much you would like to put towards that 401k or that retirement. And once you guys actually come up with a plan, that's going to make you both feel more secure within your relationship and within at home. Okay. So that's really, really good. Cause I feel like security and stability is really important to you. And that's why finance finances came out at the top of the line, because it wants you to focus on making your finances better this season. All right, so let's look at who this person is or what this situation is that can be causing all of this and maybe how it can actually help you, okay? Or let's just see if there's anything else about love that you need to know. Let's get some clarity on fairness, feeling overprotected. Maybe you are, maybe someone feel like you're overly protecting them or you're being overly possessive or obsessive. Okay, maybe you, maybe someone is being overly protective or overly obsessive over you, but there's definitely like this big, um, I don't know. I just feel like there's like this, I don't want to say, cause I don't feel like it's divorce or separation. I just feel like it's like this cutoff where you're like putting someone in their place about something that is, I don't know. I'm, that's why we need these cards. We're going to look deep because I feel, I feel like I know what I'm trying to say. Um, I just feel like you guys are worried about something and it's been causing a lot of, um, discomfort and I feel like finances has been huge. I feel like a lot of you have been trying your best to get money together, to save up money and it just hasn't really been, um, for a lot of you it's been okay, but for a great hand of you it's like, mm, this is not working and I feel like a lot of you, your spouses, I feel like you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Wow, yeah. <laughs> That's great. Just fall on out, right? <laughs> Let, let's see if I can actually bend down to get those cards. Okay, hold on. Oh my God, this is such a tight space. Woo! All right. 
So here we go. Let's see who this person is or what the situation is or what spirit would like to share with you when it comes to love at this time for the month of May. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus in Virgo. Here we go. All right. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. So, wait. I'm going to wait for that. So, again, have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations, even if it is about money. You know, don't be afraid to sit your spouse down and say, honey, you know, I'm a bit concerned about our finances. I feel like we need to put some money to the side. I feel like we need to save up for this or save up for that. It could be something, again, guys, that you're waiting for and it hasn't come through yet. And maybe that's causing a lot of frustration. I'm not sure. But just be patient, Virgo. Something amazing is going to happen for you. Okay? You, uh, but a lot of you are definitely healing from some type of toxic energy or relationship or or basically just feeling basic, basically free at the moment. Because, again, something is going to work out in your favor. And I feel like that's going to lift the weight up off your shoulders if not your spouse. This money could be coming from your spouse or it could be coming from you. Or it could be something that you both worked really equally for. Um, but it's definitely something that's going to be rewarded for you. And I think that's going to ease the stress. Um, especially when it comes to, like, paying your bills and keeping up with... Like I said, I feel like security and stability is heavy for you at this time. You know, spirit sets here to have faith, though, you know? Have faith. You know, don't lose hope, you know? All is not lost. I know that it feels like, you know, I can't do this at the moment, you know? But love is coming, for those, especially for those of you that have been worrying, like, well, I am single, you know, when am I going to meet the love of my life? When am I going to have children? For those of you that are having those questions, you know, Spirit wants you to know that you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. And you are, you know, um, being blessed at this time, even in love. You are being granted a love of your life. The problem is, though, Virgo, you have to stop being so picky, and stop comparing this person to the last person. Stop saying, well, mm, they didn't dress like that. Or they didn't act like that. They used to chase me. Or they used to beg for my attention. They used to want to see me all the time. You know, like don't compare, you know, your, your new person to your ex person. Because your new person, I'm sure, is probably nothing like your ex. Which, in you know, to some of you, you might be like, that's my point. They're nothing like my ex. But... You don't realize that that is a blessing in disguise. This person has their heart for you for a reason. This is Cupid's arrow. So I feel like, especially for those of you that are single or just simply dating, maybe you're not coupled up just yet. Maybe you're not married just yet. Maybe you're just simply dating this person. I feel like whoever this person is, they do have deep love for you or feelings for you, right? And when it's all said and done... You're so busy being caught up worrying about, like, the past. Like I said, a lot of you are healing from the past or working through some type of heartbreak, okay? And I feel like you're not, you can't really focus on this because you're still so stuck on that, you know? But you have to let that go because somebody has their eye on you. Somebody wants to get to know you and be with you and show you just how amazing it can be towards you but you have to be open to love and i think that you do that by not being judgmental or criticizing them too harshly you know i understand that you've been hurt but you have to learn to give people a chance you know um here we see love so it's amazing how you know like i said even in love you get that abundance you get to be happy you get to have that successful marriage that successful relationship but you have to open your heart you have to want the love like really genuinely want the love okay this is all about unconditional love self-love oneness passion you know working on your own financial goals first you know i find that a lot of people make those mistakes and that is some of the biggest reason why marriages fail or why relationships fail because people don't take out the time to work on themselves their financial status they don't work on their goals and then you know and we are all human so a lot of times our goals change you know, we want to, you know, we want to try something new. Like, I'm I'm guilty of that. You know, I'm always changing <laughs> something that I love or that I want to try out, that I want to do, you know. And, if you know, but when there's unconditional love, when there's unconditional love present at the moment, right, you will have that support. They will have that support from you. Because you understand, oh my God, you are always changing your job. You're always changing your career. You're always trying to figure something out. You know, you're always doing something. But guess what? That is 
who that is what makes us who we are you know and this person may not be perfect you know no one is though virgo not even you so we have to you know especially in relationships we have to learn to you know we have to be able to deal with something at least something we can't say oh no you got to be like this this that that and this and you know but then don't expect the fact and don't expect the fact that they're gonna have socks on the floor sometimes or they're gonna come late home sometimes like you gotta be willing to deal with something if you're not willing to deal with something in a relationship then you're gonna always be single because nobody is perfect you have to be willing to accept this person flaws and all unconditional a lot of people love people and they get married with the idea of conditional love and conditional love says oh i'm not gonna be with you today you know i don't care i don't want to be with you don't don't talk to me stay away from me unconditional love is i love you even though i don't like you right now i still love you even though i don't agree with what you just did i still love you that is unconditional love even though you just got on my very last nerve i still love you I'm not going to walk away every time we have like a little disagreement or every time things don't go my way. I'm not going to give up every time you do something I don't like. I'm not going to turn my back on you because you're being lazy at times or because you're, you're spending up the money. No, there's ways to deal with those things. A lot of marriages end because people don't want to do the work. They think that you get in relationships and you get the, you get the, you get the girl, right? And now you feel like, oh, the work is done. No, the work is not done. If you want that relationship, you have to continue to work at that relationship. And it's the same thing even in marriage. You have to continue to work at it. It's like getting money, basically. When you want money, you're not going to just get $500 and then not go get no more money, right? No, you're going to still work at it. You're going to still go get more money. And it's the same way with love. When you get that love, you have to keep working at it so you can continue to get more love, Virgo. That is how it works. So don't be so eager to give up on this relationship or this new foundation, okay, that you could be possibly building with this new person, expecting or having too much expectations or expecting them to, you know, be shaped into something that we want them to be shaped into. It doesn't work that way, you know, and when you want unconditional love and you want this person to give you their whole heart, we have to also learn to be patient with the process, so Virgo, let's just look a little deeper and see what Spirit wants to share with you at the moment. I have your um, guidance cards here. This is one of my favorite decks, and I really hope that you guys get some additional clarity here. I would love to um, look a little deeper into this because I feel like there's love here. I feel like there's some type of hope. You know, hope is definitely not lost, you know, but I feel like a lot of you are possibly trying to give up before the blessing begin don't give up just yet virgo hold on hold on have faith okay have faith that love is here that love is coming have faith that is all going to work out i know this situation might possibly remind you of an ex-lover or some of the things that you may have been through but you gotta have faith my love unconditional love all right so let's see what spirit has for you this is for virgo sun moon rising of venus and virgo love extended mini love focus for the month of may 2020 spirit please show us what we need to know virgo they are an ex for a reason they are an ex for a reason if they didn't do it right the first time well the second time the third time They are an ex for a reason. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. So Virgo, again, seeking advice, asking for help, needing things to work out. And it has maybe you guys are really going through some things. Are you looking in all the right places? Are you and your spouse looking at marriage counseling? Are you looking to, you know, come to a, some type of agreement? What's going on? Look for a sign. Wow, the Spirit is really guiding you to really, really be true to yourself this season. Hope is not lost, my love. Look for a sign. See, 
what I love about the universe and what I love about God and, you know, just being a part of the spiritual world is that, you know, just when you want to give up, God will come in and completely show you every reason why you need to sit your ass down. <laughs> like, I love that. I love that. You know, and I have personally experienced that where every time I want to just give up and walk away and be like, the hell with this, you know, it turns right around in my favor. So it just teaches us that we need to sometimes just be a little bit more patient and just wait. Just wait. Okay? Communicate clearly. Like I said, that heart-to-heart -heart conversation, my love, is so important to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honey, can we please sit down and, and talk to each other? I really have some things I want to get off my chest, you know? I apologize for how I treated you. I'm sorry that I said some things I shouldn't have said. You know, please forgive me. Or, this is what's on my mind. I feel like we need to really start building our savings or our retirement. I really am uncomfortable when you're talking to your ex. I understand that you guys have children together, but, you know, sometimes I feel left out when you don't include me. I understand that, you know, you need to leave for a few days to, to work. I understand that your work is important. But it makes me feel really special if you just check in with me sometimes. I understand that you've been doing all the work, you know, working, coming home, doing things around the house. And I understand that you've been really stressed out lately. Well, this could be someone doing this for you, Virgo. Showing you their appreciation. Showing you just how grateful they are that you are in their life. Okay? But this is definitely a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to happen. Especially if the argument has been about your finances. Have those heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And don't give up, Virgo. Hope is not lost. So, Virgo, I love you. Thank you for watching. Please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. Virgo, I would like to share something with you. All right, guys. So, I have actually started my own candle line, okay, guys? And this is one of my favorite candles. This is the Pleasure Candle, guys, okay? So, I have two lines. I have, well, I have one line, but <laughs> it's called Passion versus Pleasure. So, we have candles that are just strictly all about pleasure, you know, starting a romantic evening, you know, having a good time, being in the mood, trying to raise your vibration just to feel more beautiful. And then we have passion. Passion line is all about getting you motivated and boost up in the morning, making you, you know, allowing you to smell scents that really get you started and ready for your day. Okay. These candles are so amazing. It comes in four different color jars. You can actually mix up the scents with the different jars that you want. It really doesn't matter to me. You let me know what scent you like or what you would like to have. Um, or if you would like me to just, um, create something just for you based on your zodiac sign, I can do that as well. Okay. And what I love about it most is that it's pocket size, guys. I love these candles so much. And yes, it is pure soy. Handcrafted with love is one of my favorite things that I have created in 2020. And I'm super excited because this is something I've been thinking about for a year, guys. And I have never had the courage to actually do it. And I'm so grateful that I've done it because it's doing amazing. Um, you can get that if you email me at g1insights.org at gmail.com. That is my email. Yes, for those of you that already know, that is the name of my website. So you're probably like, what? Okay, g1insights.org is my website and g1insights.org at gmail.com is my email, guys. I will post both of those below, especially if you would like to purchase one of these beautiful chakra bracelets. I'm super excited to share the love with you that I've manifested and I really pray that you guys have an amazing season. Be good to yourself, Virgo. I love you. Please spread this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. Bye.